this is going on right now and you're going to start to see this story populating in your feeds um it's about this this georgia um sheriff who i'm not even going to mention his name his name, his name is not important because you once you're dealing with one white cop you're dealing with all of them they're all the same dude brought people out to his shooting range and all of the pictures <laughs> on the range were of a black guy <clears throat> right all of them and I've said this many times before that there's only one reason white people become cops and when I said that shit that a lot of people got upset about it and hence for it but I, I'll, I'll keep saying it until I'm, lay, I'm in a funeral home the only reason white people become cops is to shoot black people there is no other reason they would waste all of that precious white skin on something as meaningless and worthless as being a cop as powerless as being a cop because the only place you have power is over African American communities because you're not going to do all that shit you do to us to white people so the only place they can really have any kind of power it's over our community and that's the only reason white people become cops is to shoot the black guy you know now here they are they're, they're having target practice on shooting a black guy and it's and never mind the fbi statistic that the number one race that shoot cops are white boys <laughs> white people it, listen to me guys Black people don't kill cops. We never have. It's not what we do. It's what they do. But we're the target of all of their rage. We're the target of uh, all, all of their hate and all of their violence. This extreme violence of white cops. This is why they focus all of it at us is because we're the reason they became what they are. If it wasn't any black men, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have so many white cops. The reason why they become cops is to shoot one of us. It's so I believe it's a wet dream for them. I really do. I think it's beyond, you know, fascination. It's really sexual is what I think. You know, this is, you know, you saw it in their own testimony. You know, just like the, the, the one who killed the black guy in Oklahoma. She said, oh, he looks like a real bad black guy here. And she just got out of jail for doing it. Now she's going around teaching seminars and shit on how to kill a black person and get away with it. We, in, in, the, in these communities, you know, we're doomed. We, we really are doomed it, as African-Americans. Because either you have in New Orleans, you have these young gangs running around killing us or you have the cops killing us you know it's really a difficult this is a difficult time to be a descendant of Africans in this country because this is the kind of shit that we deal with right here why Why the dude has to have a face period why can it be just a silhouette of a guy no 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 because they are trained in the academy to kill African Americans and this is, this, it's always been this way. This is not a new thing, you know? But this cop, it, you know, this shit is hitting the major news sites and he doesn't apologize for it. And we don't want to hear no apology. How are you going to apologize for what you are? It's like a dog apologizing for barking when you're dealing with the racism of white cops. It is what it is. There isn't anything that we could do about it because this country is going to have white cops. What else are they going to do with their third tier white men? There are there is nothing else to do with them but make them cops. These are, this is the group that couldn't accomplish shit else in life. So they became a cop. So if you don't have a job like this for them, what else are they going to do? It's just like at the end of slavery. You ever wonder what happened to all of those slave catchers? You ever, we ever wonder what happened to the economy of slavery? We know what the auctioneers did. The auctioneers at the end of slavery, they went on to auction off more cattle. <laughs> you know, they, they just continue auctioning off livestock. But what happened to the slave catchers? The ones that were actively going, actively going around catching and snatching people and dragging them into slavery. 
right in New Orleans, arresting free people of color, people who had who were emancipated. And then, you know, walking down the street and here comes some ignorant ass, dumb ass white boys, grab them and put them in the back of a wagon and drag them back into slavery and sell them into Jackson, Mississippi. Everything that you saw in 12 years of slave. That shit is a factual thing. But what, what happened to those that particular class of white boys? They became cops. <laughs> they became cops. Look up the story of Angola State Prison. These people, these people merged into the prisons and law enforcement. Law enforcement derives from slave catchers, especially if you look at the economy of, of prisons in, in states like Alabama and Georgia. Not just Louisiana, but look at you know Alabama and Georgia. Right. And these these institutions of 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 of, of prisons, all of this shit, all of this, when you're looking at the racism of cops is more than just what you're seeing here with them just shooting at a pitcher. And henceforth, this is the culture of white cops. This is who they are. This is who they will always be. And the only thing that we can do as African-Americans, man, is really segregate ourselves from these people you have to get the fuck from around them as much as possible and limit the the interaction of your family with white cops don't call white cops on your own family members y'all be having you know you're having a disagreement in your house don't call white cops to come to your house they're not coming there to help the situation they're coming there to kill somebody don't don't call white cops on your kids you know, you have black people don't call the police on their kid. Then a cop come there and shoot their damn child. Stop doing that dumb shit. Don't call the cops on somebody black unless you want that person dead. Because that's what the white cop is coming there to do. They only have one goal in life. They have only have one purpose in life. The sum total of their life is to kill you. And the horrible shit about it is that we're paying taxes for them to do it. Your, your homeowner, the, the homeowner taxes that you pay. Right on your house goes to this extreme policing of you. That's what it's like being a black person in this country. You're financing this fucking abuse from these white cops. That's why when the motherfuckers are killed in a line of duty, I offer no condolences because chances are that bitch had it coming. I offer no condolences. I send no flowers. That's like sending flowers to the fucking devil. No one does that, and no one should expect us to do it because. The majority of the people that are coming up missing in Louisiana, I believe that those people are being abducted and killed and murdered by Louisiana State Police. And that's why the FBI is now here now investigating white cops in Shreveport. Look it up. White cops in Shreveport are currently being investigated for excessive force in the amount of black people that are now missing that they cannot fucking find. All of these people interacted with white cops prior to their disappearances. And no one is saying shit about it. There ain't no black people hanging from the, hanging ourselves from the fucking trees. These are white cops doing this shit. Just like in, in Baton Rouge, where the white cops have already have, have gone on record saying that they are part of the Ku Klux Klan and they're still allowed to work. Fuck these white cops. Protect your family from and segregate yourselves from them. That is the only way to stay safe.